Let's now understand certain effects of friction. Now, when I talk about friction, we know that it is going to be there whether we want it or not. Any two surfaces in contact will always have a force which is opposing the applied force which is called the friction. So, what are the various effects that we see of friction? Number one, it opposes the motion. So, as we already know what is friction, it is the force that is always acting opposite to the applied force. It always try to oppose the motion. For example, the rubber balls eventually stops on account of the force of friction, right? Or the bicycle stops when you stop pedaling. So, as a matter of fact, the force of friction always act in the direction opposite to the direction of the applied force. So, it opposes the motion of the body and tries to stop the body, right? So, whenever you apply a force, you can take it for granted that there will be a frictional force which will be coming into picture. Second effect is it produces heat. So, in the winters, you might have seen that whenever you're feeling very chilly or cold, you try to rub your hand. Why? Because when you rub your hand, you are producing some warmth. Now, did you come this, this thought ever came to your mind how this heat is produced? The reason is friction. So, if you take that very simple example, when you rub your palms together, they get hot. Why? Because they get the heat out of friction. Let's take another example. Take a 10 rupee coin and rub it one side with table for 10 seconds. Then touch the rubbed side of the coin with your hand. You will see that it's very, 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 very hot. It can even be hotter if you rub it even longer and you have to be cautious about it. So, the coin feels very hot. Why? Because the force of friction between the tabletop and the coin changes the into heat energy. Right? So, it is for the same reason we see that our palms get warm when we rub them together. Similarly, you remember the caveman who have discovered what is fire. They actually produce fire by rubbing dry wooden sticks into a dry wooden block. So, friction can generate heat. Friction can also do a very bad thing with our things such as wear and tear. You might have seen your shoes which are very old. They have got lost from their soul. They, the, low, the soul have lost its structure. Or the tires which are very, very old, they do not have those kind of structure over them as we compare it with the new one. How did they get, get those? Where did they vanish? So, ideally, it is because of the friction. When we compare the soles of our new shoes and the old shoes, you notice that the soles of old shoes are worn out. It is because we walk and when we walk, due to friction, these things are getting worn out. So, the material of the soles wear out due to friction. The same happens with the tires of the cycles or any automobile which wear out because of friction, right? Now, there are some advantages of this. So, we talk about friction, they can cause to wear and tear. They actually lead to producing heat, which is good or bad at the same time. Then, it is opposing motion. I have to apply greater force because of friction. But, what could be the advantages? If there would have been no friction on earth, it would be impossible to walk. So, we will not be able to walk if there is no friction. Why? Because we are able to walk, because we are able to stand, because the frictional force is the opposing force. If friction would have not been there, we would have been slipping all the time. So, it is because the soles of our shoes and the ground have friction, we do not slip. It is the force of friction that helps us push the ground backward and hence we even move. So, ideally, not just standing. The walking procedure comes because of the friction. It is the same reason that it becomes very difficult to walk on a highly polished floor or a wet ground because it has less friction. So, if I give you an example, I give you your shoes which are not worn out and I just ask you to walk over ice. It will become very difficult. You will keep on slipping. If that would have been the case all the time, you, it would be very difficult to even live on earth. Hence, friction has turned out to be the most important part. Our shoes actually are corrugated or they have those different kinds of structure below the sole because to want to increase the friction. And hence, it is 
easy to walk on ground right thus friction here is very advantage the same reason that tires of different kinds of vehicles are provided with deep grooves so that they offer large friction with the surface of road and they can even move on bad weather or bad road day that is in wet conditions when there is less friction they can still stick on the ground and do not slip if the vehicle slip it can cause any kind of an accident right it is for the same reason that the knot from a silk thread slips easily why because the silk thread has less friction on the very same hand the jute thread offers more friction and hence when you knot over a jute thread it stays right it is the force of friction which holds the nail screws in the wooden furniture otherwise they will keep on slipping it is the force of friction which saves us from the impact of meteors now how come this not just on earth but in from outer space it helps us from protecting the meteors how so when a meteor enters the earth's atmosphere the force of friction between the meteor and the air will generate what it generate heat and it generate enough heat to burn the meteor in the sky in the air itself before it reaches the ground otherwise there would be lots of meteors hitting the ground causing lots of disaster right the moving vehicle bicycles cars scooters they can be slowed down or even can stop only because of force of friction otherwise your vehicle once going on will keep on going on and on and on without for you to keep uh, stopping it because, because you cannot stop a vehicle if there is no force of friction So these brake shoes, when you put on your step on the brakes, they actually stop because these brake shoes put the force on the tires, and the tires are able to stop because of the force of friction. So this is very very important to understand how important is friction to us. The writing on the paper is also a, a consequence of friction. If we use a pencil or in a, even a ballpoint point, it is impossible to write if we don't have friction. We are able to write because of friction, because it does not allow the pencil or the ball pen to slip on the paper. Otherwise, we will not be able to walk. We will not be able to even write. So, friction is very very important. but alongside to its advantages it too come with some disadvantages every coin has two faces the second face of the coin which is the disadvantage of friction comes friction definitely does some harm such as it wears down the soles of the shoes hence we have to buy shoes after a period of their use so it wears out not just the shoes but the tires of the vehicle thus the shoes and the tires need replacement time to time second it wears out the moving parts of the machinery how so because when the parts of the machine run they generate heat which wears them down so friction wears out the moving parts of the machinery which again need replacement time to time then friction generates heat hence whatever energy we are putting into doing a task it will be some amount will be wasted in the heat and in the form of heat energy due to friction whether we want or do not want it four force of friction increases with weight of the object thus we have to spend lot of energy to move heavy object so friction causes us to put in more effort when we want to move heavy load 